Hello friends, this video on Thermodynamics part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Reversible compression scenario here. As I told in reversible compression scenario, uh, the system is always in equilibrium with surrounding. That means my P external will always be P internal plus minus some built up, some difference in P. That means we'll always change the external pressure based on the internal pressure. This is always been equilibrium. So this will be plus for compression and minus for expansion. Right? Because if the P external is more than the internal pressure, it will compress. And if it the uh, P external is less than P internal, it will expand. So that is logical, right? If you have this kind of let's suppose same uh, uh, piston and I have some R here, I apply P external here. If it is more, it will compress. So if P external is more, then P internal is, is plus here, it will compress, and if it is less, it will expand. So it's always an equilibrium. So here if you see the pressure is changing, we are keep we are changing this always. So we can break this into small, small uh, scenarios actually. So this can be one. We can find the P delta V here. Again, we'll change uh, P delta we'll find again here. Like this, we can keep changing. Hope you understand this. See, the formula we got was work is nothing but minus P external into delta V. V final minus V initial. This was the formula we got. Now I'm saying that since the P external can't be constant, it will keep changing. So I can have this P external for one value. Then again, I'll drop this P external. Again, I'll keep changing the P, I'll keep decreasing the P external. To make sure that P external is almost in equilibrium with the P internal. Right? If I, so I'll get one VF minus, let's suppose this is some value. Again, I'll get this value minus this value, for change in volume, here for this value. If I add all this thing, I'll get the work done, correct? For the, the equilibrium scenario, I'll repeat once again. See, the formula I had was work done was minus P external into Vf minus Vi. The problem here is this Px is not constant, it's very based on the P internal to make sure that P internal and P external are in equilibrium. So I'll have some P external which is in equilibrium with P internal. I'll change some volume, delta V, slight change in volume. Again, the internal pressure will change, right? The change in volume. So I have to again reduce the external pressure to make sure that this external pressure isn't matched with the internal pressure. I'll reduce the pressure this much. Again, do a slight change in volume. Again, the internal pressure will change. Again, I have to reduce the internal pressure. Again, do a slight change. So like that, we'll get this balance. And all these, this area, the shared area will be the work done. How to find this? So if you have learned integration in mathematics, this is nothing but integration now because we are taking small small thing, you can take very small delta V and if you do that, I can write the equation as work done in reversal cases minus of P is very varying actually, so it will be Px dV, right? And we integrate this from V initial to V final. This will be the formula. Using the integral calculation, we found that and using some logic, this will be the formula for reversible compression scenario or reversible scenario actually. Because this is the general formula for compression and expansion. Similarly, we use the same general formula, but here since this is changing, so I'm using instead of Px, uh, sorry, instead of Px delta V, I'm using Px dV. And I'm integrating it from V initial to V. Correct? So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting this formula. And let's use this formula to derive a better formula which can be used because uh, integration and all will not be doing in the chemistry. It's really difficult for us. At the max, we know the log, square, cube, 
these things we don't do in chemistry, this thing we do in maths only. So let's simplify this formula. Right? So the formula we derived just now is W reversal came out to be minus of P external dV V initial to V final. And we also told that my P external will be in equilibrium with P internal, so it will be P internal plus dV uh, plus dP for compression scenario where this is more and for compression and P internal minus dP for expansion. Right? So general equation I can write as P external is nothing but P in plus minus D. So let's use this P external here. So I get work reversible is nothing but minus of P internal plus minus DP into DV VI to VF. So this is nothing but if we expand this is nothing but we expand here minus of V finals V initial to V final P in dV P internal dV uh, plus minus dP dV integration this also V initial to V final but this is very less actually see dP is all the change in pressure is very very small and dV is very small so we can neglect this part we can neglect this part right this is almost zero actually so what I get is this value right this is nothing but this one p internal by uh, p internal dv from vi to vf now if I can because now here p internal is also changing its variable p internal is changing its variable it's not constant can we write this p internal in terms of volume because when I am saying x dv, I want to integrate, it is good if it is x is not constant, it is good that I write x in terms of v. So here also, it, since it is I am integrating with respect to v, it is good that I write p internal in terms of v. So I know the formula p v is equal to nRT. So p will be what? p will be nRT by v. So replace that with nRT by v. Right, this is nothing but n r t by v d v v initial to v final. So, what is constant? n r and t is constant here, right? And minus sign is also there. So, this becomes minus n r t by v sorry, n, minus n r t integration of 1 by v d v v initial to v final. So, what I have done, I took out the constant part here. So if you integrate this using maths you get minus n r t this is become ln of v final minus v initial ln. This is ln and if you want to make it log because we don't use ln in chemistry we have to multiply this with 2.303 because 1 ln is 2.303 log of some number x. This becomes minus 2.303 nRT. R I can make it capital because R is only capital. nRT log of V final by V initial. This is my formula of work reversible. Hope you understand this. See, I am saying that I am changing the external pressure. This is for both scenarios. Here, pre interval is not constant. Please note. This is wrong actually. Yeah. So, please note here that I had this formula. In the last slide, I got this formula. Work reversible is P external dV. Right? Where P changed from Vi to V, Vf. 
Now we know that P external is nothing but is in equilibrium with P internal. I'll and we keep changing this. I don't have any concrete number or concrete formula for this. So I just wrote this in in terms of internal pressure because that is something I know. I can write in terms of volume also. So I use this and I see that for compression this was P internal plus dP for expansion it was P internal minus dP. General formula was P internal plus minus dP. So we just wrote took the general says we got the work reversible was P internal plus minus dP dV. Then we saw that this part dP into dV is almost zero. We neglect this part, so we got P internal into dV integration. And now P internal is also not constant, right? P internal is not constant. P internal is not constant, but it is depend on V. And we are integrating with V, so it's good to write P internal in terms of V. So I wrote P internal is nothing but nRT by V. So we got the formula nR minus nRT by V dV. Minus nRT is co uh, constant. We took it out, so it becomes one by V dV. Integral one by v dv is nothing but ln of v f minus v i uh, v f by v i. But ln is something which we don't use more than chemistry. We usually use log in chemistry. So we use converted this ln to log by multiplying this with two point three zero three, and we got this. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.